As expected, the Roman Catholic Church has never changed. Check this out. Nuns tortured 60 children by burning their skin and shoving their faces in toilets. This has been going on as long as this church has been around. In fact, there's an awful lot of prophetic utterance in the scriptures that overwhelmingly exposes this church. For example, the Roman Catholic priesthood is 98% homosexual. When the AIDS crisis was at its peak, Catholic priests were dying of AIDS 11 times greater than anyone else. That very same priesthood killed hundreds of millions of Christians during their prophesied great tribulation that Jesus spoke of. And they often condone acts of blasphemy and debauchery like they just did recently, again, the other day. They teach their people to bloody their own bodies to satisfy their long-prophesied bloodlust. They actually build hospitals so as to kill innocent children by legalized abortion. The Pope actually honors pro-abortion activists on camera. They molest the children of the families that attend their churches on a regular basis to this day. And when they get a little bit too violent with their child victims, they bury them in mass graves on church grounds all over the world. And again, just the other day, another convent was found to have buried 800 children, from infants to toddlers. They worship Satan inside the Vatican walls. They even erect buildings in honor of Satan himself. They join hands with Islam to kill more Christians who actually salute the popes on camera. And they promote and puffed up Nazi killers like Roman Catholic Emperor Adolf Hitler, who killed anyone who was Jewish, black, or a real Christian. And now they are once again caught red-handed, torturing little children to satisfy their demon-inspired hatred of the innocent life that has been placed in their care. And keep in mind, there is a method to their madness. When society gets so bad and the calamities get worse and worse, as prophecy predicts, Antichrist is going to arrive claiming to be the Catholic version of Jesus, and then the Vatican will be used by Satan himself to convince all that everyone needs to clean up their act and stop all the sin so as to prevent God's judgment falling upon them worldwide. Catholicism will be the means by which they claim it can be done, and their long prophesied Sunday Sabbath will be Satan's remedy to get everyone to help him supposedly clean up society and stop all sin and please the Catholic Jesus to a point he will stop the calamities, when in fact that act alone gets those calamities to get much worse. And since evil has become good and good has become evil, as prophecy also predicted, the obedient people of God will be declared the reason the calamities are not stopping, and because we refuse to keep the Catholic Sabbath of Sunday, religious laws will be passed. And anyone refusing to keep Sunday holy will first be prevented from buying and selling, and when the weak Christians are all weeded out of that number, the death penalty will come up against the strongest Christians in the world, and then the plagues will fall. And so I implore all obedient Christians to please warn those trapped in the harlot church and warn all the government 501c3 churches that have built their image onto that same beast in the Roman Catholic Church. Share with them the videos, the doc files, the prophetic facts, the tracks that proves the man of sin has been revealed, just like prophecy said he would be, and that man of sin always has been and always will be the popes of the Roman Catholic Church. For even in the Catholic Church, there are people that will hear the voice of the Lord and leave this church before the plagues fall upon it, because Revelation 18.4 never would have been penned otherwise. And again, warned them. For it is written in Romans chapter 10, verse 14, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Thank you for watching. God bless.